by the grace of Allah, by the grace of Allah, even the darkest night will end, and the sun will rise and shine, and the sun will rise and shine. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ما شاء الله عز وجل Welcome to our program Rise and Shine Eid Special We've all got our brand new Eid clothes on and Alhamdulillah Azza wa Jal, we're here, MashaAllah Azza wa Jal, be celebrating the beautiful day of Eid, MashaAllah. So you're going to be celebrated or you've already have celebrated your Eid today. But inshallah Azza wa Jal, it's our second day of Eid and I hope that you can join us until the end of the program. So inshallah Azza wa Jal, let's start our program with the beautiful recitation of the glorious Quran. Sallu ala al-Habib. صلى الله تعالى على محمد صلى الله تعالى عليه وسلم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ما الله تعالى كي بناه ما أتاه شيطان مردود س بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله ك نام س شروع جو نهاية مهربان رحم والا ألف لا الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم الله هي جس کے سوا کسی کی پوجا نہیں آپ زندہ اوروں کا قائم رکھنے والا نزل عليك الكتاب بالحق مصدقا لما بين يديه وانزل التوراة والانجيل من قبل هدى للناس وأنزل الفرقان اس نے تم پر یہ سچی کتاب اتاری اگلی کتابوں کی تصدیق فرماتی اور اس نے اس سے پہلے توریت اور انجیل اتاری لوگوں کو راہ دکھاتی اور فیصلہ اتارا ان الذين كفروا بآيات الله لهم عذاب شديد والله عزيز ذو انتقاب بے شک وہ جو اللہ کی آیتوں سے منکر ہوئے ان کے لیے سخت عذاب ہے اور اللہ غالب بدلہ لینے والا ہے ان الله لا يخفى عليه شيء في الارض ولا في السماء اللہ پر کچھ چھپا نہیں زمین میں نہ آسمان میں والذی یصوركم في الارحام كيف يشاء لا الہ الا هو العزیز الحکیم وہی ہے کہ تمہاری تصویر بناتا ہے ماں کے پیٹ میں جیسی چاہے اس کے سوا کسی کی عبادت نہیں عزت والا حکمت والا والذی انزل علیک الكتاب منہ آیات محکمات ان ام الكتاب و اخر متشابہات وہی ہے جس نے تم پر یہ کتاب اتاری اس کی کچھ آیتیں صاف معنی رکھتی ہیں وہ کتاب کی اصل ہیں اور دوسری وہ ہیں جن کے معنی میں اشتباہ ہے فَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ زَيْغٌ فَيَتَّبِعُونَ مَا تَشَابَهَ مِنْهُ بْتِغَاءَ الْفِتْنَةِ وَبْتِغَاءَ تَأْوِيلِ وَمَا يَعْلَمُ تَأْوِيلَهُ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وہ جن کے دلوں میں کجی ہے وہ اشتباہ والی کے پیچھے پڑتے ہیں 
گمراہی چاہنے اور اس کا پہلو ڈھونڈنے کو اور اس کا ٹھیک پہلو اللہ ہی کو معلوم ہے اور پختہ علم والے کہتے ہیں ہم اس پر ایمان لائے سب ہمارے رب کے پاس سے ہے اور نصیحت نہیں مانتے مگر عقل والے اے رب ہمارے دل ٹیڑے نہ کر بعد اس کے کہ تو نے ہمیں ہدایت دی اور ہمیں اپنے پاس سے رحمت عطا کر بے شک تو ہے بڑا دینے والا ربنا انك جامع الناس ليوم لا ريب فيه اے رب ہمارے بے شک تو سب لوگوں کو جمع کرنے والا ہے اس دن کے لیے جس میں کوئی شبہ نہیں بے شک اللہ کا وعدہ نہیں بدلتا بے شک وہ جو کافر ہوئے ان کے مال اور ان کی اولاد اللہ سے انہیں کچھ نہ بچا سکیں گے اور وہی دو زخ کے ایندھن ہیں سلو الحبیب صلی اللہ تعالی علی محمد صلی اللہ تعالی علیہ وسلم ماشاء اللہ عزوجل very beautiful recitation of the glorious Quran you've heard Alhamdulillah عزوجل and remember even if it's Eid today we still need to be reciting the glorious Quran we need to make our habit to read as much Quran as possible unto the Prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم recite the Rude Park as well and inshallah عزوجل we're going to not only celebrate our Eid but we're going to enjoy the day of Eid as well because the day of Eid is for enjoyment. So inshallah, Azzawajal, let's go towards our kalam. But, but before we go to the kalam, inshallah, let me tell you what segments we're going to have here. Normally, alhamdulillah, we have our daily reminder, daily hadith. Uh, and today we're going to have a few nats as well. We've got some very nat khans, mashallah, with us today in the studio. And we're going to listen to their nats as well. We're going to be asking them some questions as well, how they celebrate their Eid as well. And inshallah, Azzawajal, hopefully we need to start, inshallah, Azzawajal, reading the kalam as well. So let's go towards our beautiful kalam for today. Sallu ala al-habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. محمد سید القونین وافق علی محمد سید القونین وافق علی والفاری قینی من عرب ومن عجمی مولا یا صلی و سلم دائما آبادا على حبی بیکا خیر الخلق کلیہم مولا یا صلی و سلم دائما آبادا على حبی بیکا خیر الخلق کلیہم هو الحبیب الذي ترجا شفاعته هو الحبیب الذي ترجا شفاعته لكل هول من الأهوال مقتحيني 
صلو الحبیب صلی اللہ تعالی علی محمد صلی اللہ تعالی علیہ وسلم a very beautiful kalam praising the prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم and guess what our prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم is praised in nearly every single language people praise the prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم and inshallah azawajal we've just uh, praised our prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم and now we've got some guests in the studio let's first of all see who they are and where they're from and what their names are. Because I've got someone on the right hand side, let's ask this personality who he is. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First of all, can we take your blessed name? Muhammad Inayat Raza Attari from Dewsbury. Muhammad Inayat Raza Attari from Dewsbury, mashallah. Inayat Raza, how do you celebrate your Eid? Uh, we read eat namaz in the morning, and then we go see the relatives. We we'll only see them, we don't eat anything in their house, and do you? And we eat food at their house. And then clean the pots and take them home with you. Yeah, no we don't. We eat food and we don't clean the pots, do we, sometimes? We Because they're all like, uh, they can do it themselves. Right, okay, fair enough. Gee, in Adraza, you said you're going to read a nut for Kalam today as well. Which, which is your favorite Kalam? Kamli Wale Muhammad. MashaAllah. And are you going to read that today? Yeah. Okay, let's see, MashaAllah. So, viewers are home. Let's listen to a kalam from the one and only Inayat Raza Attari Ji. Sallallahu alayka ya Rasool Allah Wa sallam alayka ya Habib Allah Kamli wale Muhammad صدقے میں جا جن آکے غریب آدیبا پر لئی کملی والے محمد تو صدقے میں جا جن آکے غریب آدیبا پر لئی میری بخشش وسیلہ محمد تانا میری بخشش وسیلہ محمد تانا جن آکے غریب آدیبا پر لئی میری بخشش پتر ویمارنت ہستے رہے ویری پتر ویمارنت ہستے رہے پھر ویرائے خدا سب نو دستے رہے بری صفتان البریائے سارا کرا بری صفتان البریائے سارا کرا جنہیں آکے غریب آدی با پر لائی کملی والے محمد تو صدقے میں جا جنہیں آکے غریب آدی با پر لائی لا یا بدوانو سینے کا مال ہویا لا یا بدوانو سینے کا مال ہویا کوئی حبشی تو حضرت بلال ہویا کوئی حبشی تو حضرت بلال ہویا آئے درتے سوالی نو کی تیننا آئے درتے سوالی نو کی تیننا جنہیں آکے غریب آدی با پلائی او دیوا جو کوئی دنیا تے پیارا نہیں او دیوا جو کوئی دنیا تے پیارا نہیں او دیوا کا کوئی جگت سہارا نہیں جنہ ہون دے محمد نہ ہون دا جہا جنہ ہون دے محمد نہ ہون دا جہا جنہیں آکے غریب آدی با پلائی کملی والے محمد تو صدقے میں جا جنہیں آکے غریب آدی با پلائی ماشاءاللہ Did you enjoy that kalam? Yeah, it was in which language was it? Do you know? Punjabi Punjabi, it was in Punjabi, ماشاءاللہ عزوجل Let's talk about our Eid today because we're all celebrating Eid today and inshallah عزوجل you've had some delicious food which is your favorite food on Eid day in Aydraza? My favorite food is biryani Biryani, what is it? The chicken one, the mutton one, the lamb one or the camel one? The chicken one. The chicken one. Well, he's chicken now, Annie. Yes, yeah. So your chicken biryani is your favorite one, mashallah. Okay, on Eid days, normally, do you have chicken biryani as well? No, only on Eid. Only on Eid, not on. That's why I said Eid day, do you have chicken biryani? You said, no, only on Eid. 
Okay, so you do have chicken biryani on Eid. That's excellent, mashallah. We've got some very important guests in the studio. Alhamdulillah, Azza wa Jal. Let's see who's got the mic in his hand now. What's your name? Raish. Raish, is that it, Raish? Yeah. What's your surname? Muhammad Raish Usman. Muhammad Raish Usman, mashallah, Azza wa Jal. Ji, Muhammad Raish Usman, are you happy that it's Eid today? Well, we're on the second day, aren't we? So you're happy. Have you, uh, did you wear any new clothes? MashaAllah. Rais Usman, how old are you? Seven. Seventy-eight. No. How much? Seven. Oh, this sef seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. Rais is seven years old. Now Rais is going to give the mic to his brother. What is your name, Rais's brother? Muhammad Anis Usman. Muhammad Anis Usman, mashallah. Anis, how old are you? 12. You're 12 years old. And what is your favorite dish on the day of Eid? Biryani. Biryani. In either of the lives, loves biryani. You love biryani. Chicken one or the camel one? Chicken. Chicken. Oh, they're all chickens, aren't they? Yeah, they're all fav chicken favorites. Okay, mashallah. Oh, we never asked Rais what his favorite food was. So I give him the mic. Rais, what's your favorite food? Biryani. Biryani, mashallah. Are you sure biryani is your favorite food? Right, okay. His favorite food is also biryani. Well, we also got another guest, mashallah. What's your name? Uh, Farhan Azim. Where do you live? Town, Dewsbury. He lives in Town, Dewsbury. Farhan, day of Eid, what's your favorite dish on day of Eid? Ras Malai. Ras Malai is not a dish, is it? It's a, it's, a, it's a sweet dish. Why is it that you like the food in wise? The biryani, the meat one. The, oh, thank God we've got somewhere else. We've got meat biryani today. But mashallah, so well, excellent. Inshallah, so well, what we're going to do now is also, we've got Ubaid Raza in the studio as well. You guys have taken time out, whereas other lads might be playing about on the streets, but you've chosen to come and sit with me in the studio. Alhamdulillah, we are, and the food is getting prepared. Are you getting ready for the food, lads? Yeah, so inshallah, very soon the food is going to come and we're going to enjoy our meal as well. And you can also watch us whilst we are eating our food as well. Inshallah, Azza wa Jal. Ji, subhanallah. Farhan, you're going to read a naat as well, are you? Ji. Go on, which, which is your favorite naat? Anku Katara. Okay, go on then. Sallallahu alayka ya, ya Rasulallah Wa salam alayka ya Habib Allah Sallallahu alayka ya, ya Rasulallah Wa salam alayka ya Habib Allah Anku Katara Ujala Name Muhammad Anku Katara Name Muhammad Dilka Ujala Name Muhammad Dolat Jochaho Dono Jahaki Karlo Wazifa Name Muhammad Katara Name Muhammad Dilka Ujala Muhammad Nuhu Khalilu Musa Isa Nuhu Khalilu Musa Isa Sabka Hai Aka Name Muhammad Dilka Ujala Muhammad Poonche ga Mola La ya hai kya kya Mein ka hoonga Naam e Muhammad Aankhu katara Naam e Muhammad Dil ka ujala Naam e Muhammad 
محمد اپنے رضا کے قربان جاؤ جس نے سکھایا نام محمد کو کتارا نام محمد دل کا اجالا نام محمد ماشاءاللہ ماشاءاللہ This is, do you know who wrote this kalam? Maulana Jaleel Jamil Ar-Rahman Qadri Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Ali who was the Khalifa of Ala Hazrat Imam Ali Sunnat Maulana Shah Imam Ahmad Raza Khan Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Ali It was his kalam that was mashallah being recited and it's such a beautiful kalam and especially amongst the kids it's a very very famous kalam as well. If you've just joined us then yes you are watching our Rise and Shine Eid special program it's the second day of Eid today, mashallah, azawajal, and you are watching this program. I've heard, uh, I hope that, mashallah, you have enjoyed your Eid, you are loving your Eid, and inshallah, azawajal, you've had some biryanis about because everyone loves here your biryanis. Uh, in Adra, Ubaid, what's your favorite dish? I prefer samosas. Samosas, that's not a dish, that's a savory. Why is it food wise? They like biryani. Biryani is known as a dish, isn't it? Uh, gosh. Gosh, yeah. Oh, that's a bit Asian type, isn't it? Ghost. Yeah, so you like ghost. Which ghost do you like? Do you like camel? Do you like bakra? Do you like bakri? Do you like dumba? What do you like? Any sort of sheep could do. Any sort of sheep. Even though it's got three legs, it's just, it's just, it's got to be a sheep. Well, fine, mashallah, azawajal. Excellent, alhamdulillah, azawajal. Now, remember, the day of Eid is a happiness for the Muslims. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also celebrated many Eids in his lifetime as well. MashaAllah Azawajal. And one of the things the scholars, they mentioned that on the day of Eid, you're supposed to be enjoying yourself and also, Alhamdulillah, giving Mubarak Baat to everyone. So are we all giving Mubarak Baat to everyone at home? In Ad Raza, is there anyone that you want to give Eid Mubarak to? Eid Mubarak to all the viewers that are watching. MashaAllah Azawajal. Excellent. So Alhamdulillah Azawajal. Eid Mubarak to everyone. Ubaid, do you want to give Eid Mubarak to everyone as well? Yeah. Yeah. So we all together say Eid Mubarak to everyone. Eid Mubarak yeah. everyone. MashaAllah. Gee. So now Ubaid, MashaAllah Azawajal, I've heard that you're going to have a kalam as well. So if you want to get ready for that kalam as well. Now remember my dear Islam brothers and viewers of Madani channel. Before we go to another kalam, let's go and look, watch our daily reminder for today as well. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. By the grace of Allah, by the grace of Allah. My dear Islamic brothers, your neighbors have rights upon you. So please do not be disturbing them. We head to the masjid, and to get into the masjid, we park our cars over people's driveways. Or we come home late at night, making a noise, waking up our neighbors. My dear Islamic brothers, our neighbors have rights over us. The community, here in the UK is a mixed community. And if we are to take the message of the Prophet وسلم, to the wider community, then we have to be ambassadors for this deen. We have to go out there and emulate the teachings of the Prophet وسلم, and the Quran and Sunnah. So my dear Islamic brothers, spare a thought for your neighbors. By the grace of Allah, صلوا على الحبيب صلى الله تعالى على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم بعد رزا that is going to read a kalam today which is your favorite kalam is that your favorite one is that what you're going to read today as well so we was of Madani channel mashallah on the second day of Eid we're still hyped up if you haven't eaten too much then inshallah you can join Ubaid Raza in the kalam as well so Ubaid take it away Sallallahu alayka ya Rasulallah wa sallam alayka ya حبيب الله وهكذا جود 
کرم ہے شہ بت تیرا نہیں سنتا ہی نہیں ما گنے والا تیرا نہیں سنتا ہی نہیں ما گنے والا تیرا در چلتے ہے تا کے وہ ہے کترا تیرا در چلتے ہے تا کے وہ ہے کترا تارے کھلتے ہے سخا کے وہ ہے ذرا تیرا واہ کیا جو دو کرم ہے شہ بت ہا فشوالے تیری شوکت کا اولو کیا جانے فشوالے تیری شوکت کا اولو کیا جانے خسر و ارش پہ اڑتا ہے پرے را تیرا واہ کیا جو دو کرم ہے شہ بت ہا تیرا میں تو مالک ہی کہوں گا کہ ہو مالک کے حبیب میں تو مالک ہی کہوں گا کہ ہو مالک کے حبیب یعنی محبوب وہ محب میں نہیں میرا تیرا واہ کیا جو دو کرم ہے شہ بت ہا تیرا تیرے قدموں میں جو ہے غیر کامو کیا دیکھے تیرے قدموں میں جو ہے غیر کامو کیا دیکھے کون نظروں پہ چڑھے دے کے تلوا تیرا واہ کیا جو دو کرم ہے شہ بت ہا تیرا تیری سر کا ملاتا ہے رضا اس کو شفی تیری سر کا ملاتا ہے رضا اس کو شفی جو میرا غوث ہے اور لا ڈلا بیٹا تیرا واہ کیا جو دو کرم ہے شہ بت ہا تیرا 
ماشاء اللہ ماشاء اللہ a very beautiful kalam do you know who this kalam was written by Allah Hazrat did I tell that or not no no so that was written by Allah Hazrat Imam Ali Sunnat rahmatullahi ta'ala li and a very very beautiful kalam ماشاء اللہ عز و جل and now alhamdulillah عز و جل uh, let's have a little gap shop as they say with our Uh, viewers or guests in the studio as well. Let's, shall we have a little competition with you? Uh, Eid the namaz, how many rakats do you read? Two rakats. And how many takbirs do you say normally? Six. Six. six ta- I said four and he said six. That is the correct answer. So mashallah, Azawajal is really doing very good, mashallah. Azawajal. And remember, Eid is not just about fancy clothes eid is not just about wearing the best clothing eid is not just about eating the best food eid is about praising allah azza wa jal so we've got many other guests in the studio ji muhammad raees uthman well, have you bought some new clothes for eid yeah just say yeah yeah okay what have you bought did you buy new clothes what what have you bought um, some nice clothes He's bought some nice clothes. That is so excellent. Okay, mashallah, Azizul Anis. Okay, let's ask yourself a question as well. What is your favorite thing on Eid apart from eating? What do you like doing most on Eid Nama Eid day? Uh, seeing your cousins. Seeing your cousins. Just uh, have your mic near there. So seeing your cousins is the best. How many cousins do you see on the day of Eid? A lot. A lot. So basically, about million or two million. Yeah, the whole country is his cousin. But mashallah, Azwir, that's very important. See, you know, it's the Eid is not just about going to the masjid, offering your Eid, throwing a semiya kadiya, and then that say I'm off Eid. People say my Eid is over at half past nine because Eid namaz is done. Yeah, Eid namaz is the beginning of Eid. And Alhamdulillah, Azwir, we go to masjid, we read our Eid salah. we come back home and then we should be visiting our relatives our friends our family because that's the only time maybe we get to visit them now if you don't go to your relatives house on the day of eid when is it that you go to your relatives house you know today so you see a lot of people are distancing themselves from their relatives from their own blood relatives and that is one of the reasons why maybe we're not getting any barakat you know in our family as well and wishing eid you know to, to other muslims as well it's a beautiful uh, tariqa of the sahaba ikram the awliya ikram and especially helping those people in need that is why islam has given us a very beautiful tariqa beautiful way where we give eid al fitr we call it fitrana in our language so it's called fitr yeah and that, that fitr is a donation now every person either be a child of one day the eid al fitr will be important for the family to give on his behalf as well and why do we give eid al fitr so that those muslims who are in need they could be enjoying their eid as well they could be enjoying in the celebrations uh, as well alhamdulillah uh, anis when you go for eid salah tell me do you have to sit down for eid salah or do you stand up stand up okay how many rakats do you read uh Four. Four rakats for the day of Eid. Is it four? No, it's not. It's two rakats. So that means when you eat, read your Eid namaz, everyone gives salam. You read two more. Yeah. No, you don't. But okay. So okay, mashallah. Your favorite dish? We've heard that it was biryani. Biryani, chicken biryani. Did you have chicken biryani on Eid? Yeah. Yeah, mashallah. Is that chicken biryani on Eid? Now also we need to understand. that eid is another eid is a day for children as well and we've got some really really beautiful children in the studio as well what well, keeps in the studio in the house as well so do you get eid money uh, yeah okay how much do you get oh we're leaking out your cousins might be watching you <laughs> uh like 70 to like 100 70 to 100 pounds mashallah what do you do with that all that money then you give it to your mom or your dad I give it to my mom you give it to your mom well you don't need to even say mom dad your mom will say uthani eid ne paise yeah so your mom will take that or maybe your mom's watching and if you think you know why god is she is leaking out all the secrets but yeah mashallah and you get so eid money as well and how do you spend your eid money then what is it that you buy 
Your dad buys you clothes, you get Eid money, you buy more clothes. So you're going to be probably have a wardrobe full of clothes, yeah? MashaAllah. Gee, if you can pass the mic over to Farhan. Farhan, how do you celebrate your Eid? I go to my Eid namaz first, yeah, then, okay. then I go spend time with my relatives after that. Okay, so roughly, out of millions, how many relatives would you visit? I don't know, too many. Too many. So, too many millions of relatives is God. Okay, one of the most important things on Eid we have is we do mu'anaka, yeah? We, we, we embrace one another, we give Eid Mubarak as well. Now, uh, Farhan, uh, you obviously, mashallah, you go to Eid namaz, you come back home, you go to your relative's house. What is the most enjoyable part of the day for you? Spending time with my grandparents. And yeah, and eating food. Yeah. yeah, so grand spending time with grandparents and eating food is his most enjoyable time, alhamdulillah. And hopefully, inshallah, azawajal, that's what Eid is all about. We need to enjoy our day of Eid as well. So inshallah, azawajal, I think we might have a cartoon of Ghulam Rasul. So let's go towards that. And inshallah, as we can see, maybe we'll see how Ghulam Rasul celebrates his Eid or even Kanis Fatima will come up as well. So let's watch them as well. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Sallallahu ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Oh wow, how beautiful it looks. Let me put this color over here. That's nice. Hold on, where's my other block? Yes, there it is. Mm-hmm. Where did I put my things? I just put it here, but it's not even here. Oof. Sallallahu ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Why are you reciting? Sallallahu ala Muhammad. It is stated in a blessed hadith that if a person forgets something, he should recite salat and salam. Inshallah, he will remember that forgotten thing. Have you lost something that you can't find? Yes. I can't find my stationery pouch and my notebook. I can't remember where I put them. Sallallahu ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Yes, I remember now. I know where it is. Let me go and get it for you. Oh, that's great. Jazakallahu khaira. There you go, Brother Glamour Soul. <gasps> there you go. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Kanis Fatma, you don't give something by throwing it. These are bad manners. Hmm. Whenever you want to give something to someone, give it to him in his hand, with your right hand. Inshallah, Azzawajal, I will be careful in future. Hmm. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. And we, as we were having a little break, we had a little guest in the studio. I mentioned studio again. We've got a new guest. Do you want to read the first kalima for us? Go and read the first kalima. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. MashaAllah. He's read the first kalima and he wasn't shy about it as well. Ali Raza, are you celebrating Eid today? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ali Raza also can read the second kalima as well. Can't you? Yeah. Can you read the second kalima? Ashhadu an la ilaha read. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. How old are you? Oh, he's gonna be five years old. And he's, he's five years old now, isn't it? So he's five years old, mashallah. So alhamdulillah, that is an amazing thing. And we are back in our studio as well. Uh, any messages that we might have for, for the people? Right, mashallah. So then, uh, we've got Inayat Raza on the right hand side. Inayat, is there any message that you want to give to the people? Keep watching Madni channel and have a happy Eid. How happy is you? How, how do you think they can have a happy Eid? Uh, get together with all your relatives. And? And enjoy the day. With chicken biryani. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. MashaAllah Azawajal. So have a get together with your friends. Enjoy the day. Have a chicken biryani. And that's what Eid is all about. MashaAllah. It's all about meeting your relatives. It's all about building relationship with your relatives. It's building bridges, isn't it? That's what Eid is all about. Alhamdulillah. Can you imagine? Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam celebrating Eid with his companions. Zubad, what is your message for the people for Eid? Spend time with your family because Eid might be sometimes the only time in the year some people spend with their family, so make the most of it. Yeah. You know, that's a, a very true statement that because for some people, because we live in a very, very busy life and Eid is maybe the only time that we get spent with our family and friends. And maybe inshallah azawajal, if we are celebrating Eid with our family and friends, take advantage of that as well. Ali Radha, you celebrate Eid with your family. I ate one cookie. You ate one what? One cookie before school. You ate one cookie before school. Okay. So is he one cookie before school? And we don't we don't have school on Eid, do we? No, we don't have Eid or school on Eid. But is that one cookie? Why? Because it is Eid al-Fitr and you eat. Do you like semia? You know what semia? Vermicellis. Do you like vermicellis? You might be thinking, what's dad on about? I like chicken semia. You like chicken semia? Oh my God, we've got someone who likes chicken semia. That is excellent. Alhamdulillah. Gee, but I think what Ubaid said was a really, really true fact that, you know, as Muslims, we need to enjoy the day of Eid with our families. Maybe there's someone whose family lives really far, your parents, your grandparents. Make sure that you go to them, you, you see them, and you cherish their moments in your life. Because this is a time that we need to understand that as Muslims, Alhamdulillah, the day of Eid is a very beautiful day. It's a reward from Allah Azza wa because Muslims fast for 29 or 30 days. And the reward that they get is that Allah Ta'ala blesses them, mashallah. Ubaid, mashallah Azza wa Jal, you also uh, did Hifaz Quran. Did you manage to read Taraweez? Yeah, Alhamdulillah, I managed to read some Taraweez this year. Well, how do you think you did? I did all right. I think better than last year. Okay, and what, what's your future plans? Um, I only read two rakahs this year, but inshallah next year I'm going to read. Try reading more than that, maybe four or eight. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah Azza wa Jal. Um, we need to understand that, you know, Taraviz, if you did not read Taraviz, then you left all the blessings. Like the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to offer Taraviz Salah. The Sahaba Ikram, and then Alhamdulillah, at the time of Sayyidina Umar bin Khattab, anhu, the Taraweeh Salah was read as a Jama'at. So, inshallah, uh, which masjid did you of lead your Jama'at Namaz? Uh, and mashallah, yeah, I was there with him as well. Before he says you were there, I was there as well. Yeah, so Alhamdulillah. Okay, in Ramadan, let's just think about Ramadan. What is the most enjoyable part of Ramadan that you had? Probably, uh, probably the Taraweeh because the only time you get to listen to the whole Quran. MashaAllah. And you know, in the Taraweeh, you know, we had the Quranic stories. Is there any Quranic stories that you can remember? Prophet Nuh alayhi salam. Prophet Nuh alayhi salam. Yeah, and we only had that for a two minutes, didn't we? Because we haven't really mentioned the whole story of Nuh alayhi salatu was salam. But MashaAllah, Azzawajal, nevertheless, Alhamdulillah, Azzawajal, you are watching, if you just were tuning in to us, you are watching our Rise and Shine special. You might be thinking, hold on a minute, what's happening here? I've never seen Rise and Shine with kids on it because it's Eid, isn't it? That's why we've got kids in the studio as well, mashallah. Alhamdulillah, I hope you had a good Eid and you celebrated Eid with your family and your relatives. Inshallah, Azawajal, we also had a fantastic Eid in our lives, Alhamdulillah, Azawajal. And Eid is always a good time, mashallah. G Farhan. One more question. You know, Eid is what date, Islamic date, do you know? It's the day after the last day of Ramadan. Oh my God, that was such a hard question, but that's not the correct answer, is it? Okay, it's not on the last day of Ramadan, is it? Because last day of Ramadan is Ramadan. The one after. The one after. So what is that date, Islamic date? Anish, do you know it? Do you know it, Ubaid? Yeah. Why is it? First of Shawwal. 
first of Shawwal, which is the month before Ramadan, do you know? Uh, Rajab. Rajab, MashaAllah. Rajab is the year before Ramadan, are you sure? Shaban. Shaban. What's before Shaban? Rajab. Okay, Rajab, Shaban, and then Ramadan, MashaAllah. And Ramadan is all over as well. It was such a beautiful month, Alhamdulillah. And we all remember as we all remember. And guess what? I can see the food coming as well. Gee, so I think lads, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take a break for food. We're gonna enjoy our food. And we're gonna be, maybe you could be watching us eating that food as well. Delicious biryani with chicken. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. MashaAllah, as you can see, we've got the food in front of us. Uh, we're gonna start, let's make dua first. Salatu wa salamu alayka ya Rasulullah. Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Habib Allah. Bismillahi wa ala barakatillah. Bismillahi alladhi la yadurru ma'asmihi shay'un fil ardi wa la fil samai. Ya hayyu ya qayyum. Ya wajidu. Salatu wa salamu alayka ya Nabiya Allah. Wa ala alika wa sahabika ya Nurullah. MashaAllah, you can start to eat now. So every time you read, we are wajidu. Inshallah, it brings light in your stomach. We are wajidu. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. MashaAllah, I've had my share of my food. Uh, kids are still eating, MashaAllah, it looks like they've been hungry for 10 days. But MashaAllah, because it's the second day of Eid, we've had our chicken salad today, we've had our halwa today as well. And inshaAllah, Azzawajal, hope to uh, see you on the third day of Eid, inshaAllah, Azzawajal. I hope you not only enjoyed the program, but Alhamdulillah, Azzawajal, you've seen the setup and how the kids do celebrate their Eid as well. So please celebrate Eid in a manner that inshallah will befit a Muslim. And uh, mashallah as well again, Eid Mubarak to everyone. Jazakallah khaira for watching. Please take care of yourselves and keep watching Madani channel. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. By the grace of Allah, by the grace of Allah, even the darkest night will end And the sun will rise and shine And the sun will rise and shine